Hey friends, hope y'all can hear me all right. I am traveling overseas right over there is Walmart on the right. This is the nearest town to me that has a Walmart and I don't come over here but like twice a year. And this is one of those two times. First, I'm gonna run pick up some cat food and cat treats for Cali. There's a store further up ahead here that has the good food that I buy for her plus some cat treats that she loves but right now I started the video at this point because I wanted y'all to see these roundabouts for all of my friends in England and Scotland and Wales and Ireland and Australia and New Zealand and other parts of Europe that has roundabouts we got them here too and I tell you what these people don't know how to drive around them I learned when I lived in England I hated them and I hate them here too but I learned how to drive around them but these people up here they don't have a clue and these things are new since I moved up here I don't know why they decided to do this I don't like them I don't know anybody that likes them even in England, I don't know anybody that likes them. And in England, it's a whole lot crazier, especially you go to London, where they got like 19 million people living there or something and motorcycles driving like bats out of you know where. You're taking your life in your own hands when you drive there, friends. Usually I didn't drive there, but I did drive there several times. I gotta look and see where my store is at over here. See, I don't know where it's at. Cali's store. I might have passed it already. But I started the video when I did so you could see these roundabouts. There's my store right there. I gotta turn and get off here. But I'll let y'all go in just a minute. I got something I want to talk to y'all about. And it is in John chapter 9 or 10, I can't remember. About Jesus going after the lost sheep. Remember that? He left the 99 to go after the one that was lost. Friend, that's us. That is us. And that, that story just keeps reverberating in my noggin. Because I was that one that he came after in 2001. He was calling me to come back or to come. And I kept ignore, ignoring him. And he came after me. Just like he came after Paul, the Apostle Paul. I ain't no apostle. Never have been, never will be, but Paul was. Anyway, I'll let y'all find figure out how to flip this phone around here. There you go. See, it's me. It's really me. Live and in color. Some of you older folks remember that when TV first started getting color TV. They would say, we are live and in color. And that's me. All right, y'all. That's it for now. If Jesus left the 99 to come after you, you're some something special. I'll tell you that. And if you're his, that's it. You're his for all eternity. I thank God he came after me. Goodness gracious. I had a good life. I had a fun party life. Now I've got a good Christian life. And I couldn't be happier. Alright y'all. Got my cowboy boots, my cowboy hat, and my pistol. It's time to go shopping.